That's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes twinkle. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get it tonight? Oh. Be on that truck before it goes. So, you're gonna miss. How much for it? Not for sale. Number <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. Best deal in all of India. Ah. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen, I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal. Okay. What happened? He was standing over there. I was to the man, I turned around, and he was gone. Shit. Tell me where he was. On that 
that truck before it goes. Slow down. Tell me where he was. You showed me a second thing you are. Wait! There he is! Red door. That's it. Better than nothing. Here we go. It's just an active war zone. Nothing you can't handle. Hey, hold on. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey! Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Arabtazan. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Red door. Check. No. This way. Oh, my 
long, friend. Looks like they Yeah. Clean this place up at least. Get off the streets. Our shift ends in an hour. Huh? I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No. Oh, shit. Great timing. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. <coughs> Moving out tonight. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? How long has been with the movement? Long enough. I've been with Asif since he was chasing down small cricket all over India. You joined the real says he needs more time to prepare. They won't think that for much longer. Been here for weeks. When do we move on? No. Hey! You there! Damn it! <coughs> <coughs> Lotus. Not what I was picturing. There was at least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. What the? <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> You're late, Fraser. Nice to see you too. Holy shit! They took out the first squad. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Hmm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor balcony. All right. Do this. Head a street route or plan. Smile, Asav.
Come on. I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. Now what? Patience. Uh. Up here. Really? Really. <laughs> Careful on this one. You sure this is safe? Uh. No. We're moving away from Assault's Den. Yeah, we're taking the long way. Now I see why you're always late. Copy that, Cobra One. That's a quick work. Well, where to now? Up. Okay. Just exploring our options. Sit tight. Well, she certainly lives up to her reputation. Sorry about that. How about we avoid crates from now on? Okay, good deal. Up ahead. What was that? Shit. I swear. <laughs> Cheap offer supplies if you want them. You always this talkative on the job. Yeah. This 
we'll just take a moment. There's one. <coughs> oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. Crossed. It's like walking through an antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Salah and the tiger. Maybe he's closer than I thought. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Hmm. No one will miss this. I'll just borrow this. Fraser. Mm -hmm. Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Hoysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. Nadine Ross. What a pleasant surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You too can't. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser, collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions. Three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you... ...crack... ...this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. 
You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. After them! Messy but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Because the Libid can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on a serve so-called expert? Don't worry. If a serve's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons. Transports hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The 
trident was Ganesha's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is her Salah? Hoi Salah. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Ah, right where I left it. Amazing landscape. Still here. Great. Just checking. Here, give me your hand. Yeah. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? I've got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoi Salar exhibition. I've never even heard of the Hoi Salar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital to help. And then led the Persians right to their doorstep. Hey, look! Flamingo Convention!
see your way forward. Looking. Oh, ah. Refreshing. Ugh. Could have warned me. Well, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Not really. Oil the head. Slow down. Oh, look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadoo and Balor. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balor. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Is the rental equipped for the winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you brought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Right. That should no, do the Fraser. trick. Fraser, move! It's an ambush! Shit! Take cover! Uh. Thanks for the heads up! Kick them out! You got him! Okay, we're clear. Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. Oh, there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. Let's go with a yes. They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We've got to take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Okay, well, not one for subtlety, are you? Not really. They have one interfering! Stop them! Was this really your plan? Sort of. You don't like 
Clear. Just like I planned. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'll get the gate open. Bring the car round. This looks to be it. Driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I'll keep an eye out for a sob. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about, you know. You should be. You won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a sword is. We just need to stay the hell away from him. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone to keep watch for assault forces. Good call. Up and away. So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. 
aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. Let's see what's behind the bow door. Another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the trident door. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last one. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. climbing up. <clears throat> well, was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How do you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose. Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks. Not enough alcohol in the world. Give me a second. I can wait. <laughs> Time to go. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Sarv? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised a sword's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then.
I'll be right back. You got it. Let's go. Clear out here. Interesting circular motive. Like the <laughs> disc. We're definitely in the right place. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. Let's keep this quiet as Waiting long as we on can. Cobra 8. Copy that. I think that's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how about you? That's two. Here's another. I'll get it. You. Only one left.
one's mine. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. Hello, sir. Now what? Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know it's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Fraser, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysala Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go... Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know? Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. <laughs> 